Welcome back to the trail, Mushy the Cowboy Cook. Today we're going to cook a little breakfast in a Ziploc bag. You can cook numerous all kinds of meals in Ziploc bags. In fact, there's books out there, freezer bag cooking. Uh, it's a technique I learned in Scouts. Um, we did it on Sunday mornings. Let's get into it. Now, like I said, I like to cook this Sunday morning breakfast. Typically Friday evening when we'd come into camp, we'd, most scouts do what they call a, a just a bag lunch. But typically I was working lots of times out of town trying to catch up with the troop. So I got to where I'd make, um, you know, whether it was like spaghetti and meatballs or lasagna or some kind of a rice dish and then put into the Ziploc bags individually. You get into camp, while you're setting up, you get some hot water going, you put these in there and basically you heat it up. Well, for breakfast on Sunday, you're trying to break down, pack up camp, clean up everything, and the last thing you need is more dirty dishes. So what we would do either Saturday morning or the week before, cook some meats, uh, whether it's sausage, bacon, country ham, we, we really like country ham. Cut up into small pieces, put in the bags, and then you're ready to go. Or Saturday morning, when we cook breakfast, we would cook some extra sausage, bacon, country ham, or whatever. And pack that up, put that in the cooler for Sunday. Come in Sunday morning get our water heating up just need a simmer on on the water take the bags and since you might ha you know however many people you have we're gonna let everybody do their own bag write their name on it or I got a little creative and started doing scout names such as Eagle first class um, the name of the camp or other things like that uh, just kind of mix things up you can do numbers but what you do, you take your freezer quart size Ziploc bag, fold it over, but you don't want to get food in the um, in the enclosure in the zipper part of it. So you flip it over, have everybody do it, and they just start walking down the line. Tell you how many eggs they want. Well, today I'm going to do just two eggs. Typically, we'd have the meat laid out, you know, bacon, sausage, country ham, or whatever we have. If we have hot dogs or red hots from the day before lunch, or if we cooked a trash can chicken or country or a ham, trash can ham, ooh, trash can down the trail I'll show you how to cook in a trash can but basically just take meat leftovers from the weekend or things that you cooked so here I've got some patty sausage and uh, some chicken dogs a uh, chicken sausage dog do some shredded cheese if you like some people may not want it or want something else. You, you just let everybody pick what they want. Today I'm going to put in some shredded cheese. I got to where I like to put a little instant grits. If you got the eggs, just pour a little in there. I usually do about half a pack. And then what you want to do is take your bag, hold it up, break the eggs, and then just mix up everything. If you got the grits, make sure you get that moistened. You might have to put a little water in it if it's dry, especially doing the uh, grits. Put 
push all your food down to the bottom of the bag. And then what you do is you want to get all the air out of it before you seal it up. So typically what we do is just lay it down and kind of roll it over and then close it up. And then you hand it in to be cooked and I'll show you how we cook it. All right, you can do this on your stove top. Um, if you're out camping on a gas grill um, in, inside your RV and on your campfire. So once you've gotten the air out, it's very important to get the air out because what's going to happen whenever you put it in the water, if it's got air, it's going to act like a balloon and just float. Whereas putting, getting the air out, it will get, stay under the water, the food part. And it's just a simmer. Now this can take 10 to 15 minutes typically to cook. Uh, usually we'd have a pretty good sized pot with water and you know usually 10, 15 of us out camping. And um, every once in a while we'd have to have a second pot on the stove to cook it. Now I want to give a little shout out to my scouting buddy Tim down in South Carolina he took a scout leaders training course one year and he came up with the idea um, once you pull this out it, it's hot and you want to eat it right out of the bag so what he did he came up with the idea of taking two hot pot holders and sew them on three sides which made a little pocket to set the bag down in now the next year, I took the same course and I, I volunteered to have breakfast for both mornings just so I could do this. And what I did, I bought hot pot holders and I sewed them across the bottom and halfway up the two sides. And that gave a little bit of a bigger opening to set your bag down in. In our troop, we gave everybody what called like a sweat rag, rowdy rag. And so what all you do is take it, and I'll show you once this is done again, but just hold it in your hand, put the bag right here, open up, eat right out of it with the spoon. All right, we are done. Now what I typically do is give it a little squeeze, make sure the egg is cooked and Cook like you want it. Now there will be, you've got cheese in it sometimes. It may not, the egg may not look done, but it's the cheese. You'll see a little gooey in it. Like I said, typically just use a towel. Hold it in one hand. Open it up. Kind of roll it over. Hold in one hand, take a spoon, eat it out. Put salt, pepper in it. Uh, sometimes I'll put mushrooms, peppers, and onions in it. But what I want to do today is just dump it out and let you see it. But the idea is to have no dishes other than a dirty spoon. The pot with the hot water we'll use to... Um, wash down tables and stuff like that as we're cleaning up so you've got a second use for the water but you'll see the eggs are done the grits are instant the meats already cooked the cheese is melted bon appetit You can't go wrong with this because you decide what goes into it. Whatever kind of meats, cheeses, um, you want the grits, you want mushrooms or other vegetables.
try this at home but I definitely recommend doing it and eating it out of the bag and you'll see a difference in your dishes or lack of dirty dishes mm -mm, good now that breakfast was good in fact in the middle as I got into it uh, got into the grits and very creamy and uh, and whenever you're doing it mix it up a little bit try different things see what you really like and uh, and just go for it now one thing with this pot um, cooking over fire it's gonna get black all over all, all over the outside of it now in scouts we used a uh, aluminum pans and the trick that we used was we used liquid soap on the outside and wipe it on with a paper towel. And then that helps that black come off whenever you go to clean the dishes. So I'll show you. Here's what the pot looks like. I've already put some soap on it after. But you put soap on before you even start uh, cooking in it. Now I'll take a scrubby to it, but you can see already where the black is coming off. You can see right there where it went right through it. So pots like this, aluminum, take the liquid soap, rub it all on the outside if you can cook over a, any kind of a wood fire. And it will help keep the uh, help get the black off whenever you're done cooking. Just another little pro tip. Now I hope you learned something about cooking in a Ziploc bag. Like I said, you can do numerous meals in it. And like I said before, I would do Friday evenings dinner and then Sunday morning breakfast in the Ziploc bags. Makes it real quick, like you saw virtually no dishes and you can really put some good meals together also check out that book freezer bag cooking you can find recipes just on the internet if you like content like this I'd like for you to, to subscribe to the channel hit the like button ring the bell and mushy the cowboy cook we'll see you down the trail